Hey guys, so if you believe the statistics, then in the entire world, there's about 3 million abandoned ships that were either wrecked, abandoned, or ran aground. Any ship, military or otherwise, hidden beneath the waves or surviving under the sun and wind is always surrounded by many mysteries and riddles. Today, we're going to look at several old abandoned ships from around the world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. The biggest graveyard in the world. Chuuk Island, also known as Chuuk, is a small island in the Federated States of Micronesia in the Southwest Pacific Ocean. Now, it was captured by the Japanese right after the Pearl Harbor attack, and they turned it into a Japanese Navy and Air Force base. In 1944, the base was destroyed and taken over by the U.S. Navy. Over 60 military ships and 275 Japanese airplanes sank in the lagoon, forming the largest ship graveyard in history. Most of the wrecks were untouched for almost 25 years because people were afraid of the sunken bombs. Now, it's a very popular place for divers who can find sunken ships with full cargo holds, fighters, tanks, and bulldozers. This is one of the oldest and best preserved finds ever on the ocean floor. The 75-foot trade ship lying on its side was found by a team of researchers off the coast of Bulgaria. The wheel, rower benches, and even various utensils were excellently preserved. The ship is dated to about 400 BCE. And the reason that this 2,400-year-old ship is so well-preserved is a peculiarity of the Black Sea. See, there's no oxygen in its deepest layer. Additionally, the wreck was 6,500 feet deep, too deep for divers who are searching for artifacts in sunken ships. The ship sailed between the Greek islands and Mediterranean colonies in antiquity along the coast of the Black Sea. Abandoned Island The miniature island Klein Karako is in the Little Antilles and is famous for its only and long abandoned building, a small lighthouse built in 1850. The harshness of the abandoned island is intensified by the rusting remains of the Maria Bianca Guidesman, who ran aground on the rock in 1960 and has remained there ever since. Royal Ghost Ship In 1954, a 138-foot, 20-ton salt boat was found in the southern corner of the Great Pyramid Tomb of the Pharaoh Khufu. Pharaoh Khufu's boat is dated to about 2600 BCE. The 4600-year-old ship was built specifically to travel, get this, in the afterlife. It was never in the water. Ancient Egyptians believed that boats would be transported to the afterlife and serve their owners there. This boat is the largest and oldest organic wooden relic in human history. Concrete Ships Because of a lack of steel and wood at the end of World War I, concrete ship construction hit its peak. In a concrete ship, the main material used for the hole is, you guessed it, reinforced concrete, ferrocement. The remains of one British concrete ship, an auxiliary coastal ship called Violette, built in 1919, can still be seen on the Hoo Peninsula in Kent, where it is a local tourist attraction. The World Discovered is a seven-deck small 1A class ice cruise ship. The ship was made in 1975 and became one of the first to take tourists to Antarctica. On April 30th, 2000, at 5 a.m. and to the north of Honera, the capital of the Solomon Islands, the cruise ship World Discoverer ran into an uncharted reef and damaged its port side. Under the threat of sinking, the captain directed the ship to a quiet area to run aground. In the following years, the cruise ship was looted by Solomon Island residents who were in a civil war. Currently, the ship is a popular tourist attraction. Divers found the remains of the 230-foot wheeled passenger steamship Vera Finger that sunk over 50 years ago 59 feet underwater in the Silver River of the Perm Oblast. The steamship used Catherine, Yekaterina, as its first name, and it came out of the Muromusk plant in 1904. It was luxurious. It was equipped and decorated royally with redwood, carpets, bronze, and mirrors. The interior was first class and made in a modern style. 
it looks like a floating palace. It was, it was used for river trips. During World War I, it was repurposed to transport cargo. While moored in the winter of 1966, it sunk. Yellow Submarine Years after the ocean transatlantic liner Andrea Doria sank off the coast of Nantucket in 1956, old man Jerry Bianco had an idea. He decided to build a submarine to find the treasure of the sunken ship. On October 9, 1970, his 39-foot, 8-ton yellow submarine called the Quester-1 was ready to launch. Due to an unsuccessful launch, the submarine was helplessly caught in a canal and has been rusting there in the Gravesand Gulf for 52 years. Swedish sea archaeologists off the coast of Vaxholm, 18.6 miles from Stockholm, discovered the remains of a sunken military ship. They supposed the ship was built in the first half of the 17th century. The ship might be a military ship that was built by order of Swedish King Gustav II Adolf, Gustavus Adolphus, from 1626 to 1636. Archaeologists think it's the ship called Eplet. Researchers won't raise the ship's hull to the surface and plan to only raise part of it. To the north of Australia's Tangaluma Island Resort are 15 ships that were sunken on purpose from the 1960s to the 1980s, far from the coast, to create a wave breaker to protect large boats. These sunken ships have now turned into a man-made ecosystem that provides shelter for the local sea life. The sunken ships are popular among boats since they provide a calm place to anchor and are famous as an excellent place for underwater swimming. Great Britain is a passenger steamship the first ship with an iron hull and a propeller. It set sail in 1843 in Bristol, Great Britain. The ship was 322 feet long and it displaced 3,400 tons. It was the longest passenger ship in the world from 1845 to 1854. Its four decks could hold a crew of 120 people and 360 passengers. The ship was sunk in 1937, 98 years after its construction began. In 1970, after the Great Britain had been on the ocean floor for 33 years, the ship was raised and repaired. Currently, it is part of the National Historical Fleet and is a tourist site in Bristol's Harbor. The ship museum has up to 200,000 visitors per year. An ancient sunken ship was found in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Mallorca. The ship may have transported wine, a garum fish sauce, and olive oil. In July 2019, residents of Palma, Mallorca's capital, noticed ceramic fragments on the seabed. Experts studied the location and discovered remains of a Roman cargo ship built in the 3rd century CE, and over 100 well-preserved vases. The ship was about 33 feet long and 16 feet wide. The ship is about 1,700 years old, and it sunk in the 3rd or 4th century CE. President Coolidge was a passenger ship, one of the largest commercial ships in the US. The liner proposed an unprecedented level of comfort and had two pools, a hair salon, and a beauty salon on board. Until the war, the ship sailed between San Francisco and Manila and sometimes took round-the-world trips too. It was repurposed and used in the war. It sank off the coast of Espiritu Santo in Vanuatu in 1942 after running into mines. The ship Cristobal Colon is a Spanish three-deck liner from 1923. It was 492 feet long. It sailed between New York and Central America. In October 1936, the ship ran into a coral reef eight miles north of the Bermuda Islands since the captain had incorrectly interpreted communications in the open sea. It's the largest ship to sink near Bermuda. Well, thanks so much for watching until the end. Leave us a like. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and let me know which one of these ships was the coolest. And we'll see you next time. We got lots more to come.